reaction vid from the kid that spins is coming. What up, though, big fan? All right, man, all the way from the 313, got a reaction video for you guys today. We about to be reacting to Detroit Gang Rivalry Part 3, YNS. Now, honestly, all this time with me living in Detroit, I did not know that the gang culture was still heavy and still active like that out here. I really thought, you know what I'm saying, it was just a scam, get money type city. You know, growing up, I lived in a rolling, uh, what was it? I think it was a rolling 60s neighborhood. It was pretty cool, you know what I mean? Um, not saying that in the fluent influence type way, but they was definitely like cool people. Like, they definitely helped out the shorties in the neighborhood. But we about to go ahead and react to this, man, because I did not know that it was still gang culture, YNS. And I never heard of them either, you know, and I mean, I'm not saying that in a diss type way, but come on. Shout out to Detroit Info Station. I never heard of them as well. Detroit Gang Rivalry, Part 3. A racketeering indictment unsealed Friday in federal court is the latest crackdown on Detroit street gangs. And All right, so we got Bounty Hunter Bloods, Avon Gangster Seven Mile Bloods, Hustle Boys. Um... I think I heard of Seven Mile Bloods before. I think I heard of them. If I'm not mistaken, I think so. For real, for real. I think. Follow waves of criminal cases targeting more than 120 members of Six Mile Cheddar Grove. Ah! Okay. Okay. Cheddar Grove. All right. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm hearing it. I'm not going to say no names or nothing like that. But when I think of Cheddar Grove, I think y'all know who actively opens Cheddar, reps Cheddar Grove. But. Bounty Hunter Bloods, Seven Mile Bloods, and Band Crew Street Gang. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Rolling up for AP, y'all for eight. I feel a late. You can't hit the wood. I face it. Your feelings can pay me. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> hey, man, listen. Look. Like I said, I'm not part of nothing, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The indictment against the Young and Scandalous Gang, also known as YNS, also known as Glow Gang, targeted an organized racketeering enterprise that overtook the Brightmoor neighborhood in northwest Detroit, according to authorities. Prosecutors allege members killed at least three people while trying to consolidate power and dominate the drug market in northwest Detroit. As a result of young and scandalous, violent domination of the neighborhood, the residents of Brightmoor live in fear, prosecutors wrote in the indictment. The gang has become known as the most dangerous group in Brightmoor and one of the most dangerous in the city of Detroit. Hmm. Now, like I said, I, and this is not a diss or nothing like that, but I, I really don't hear about the gang culture like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the raps, I hear about people getting money. I hear about, you know what I'm saying, all this type of stuff. I hear about how you broke, all type of stuff like that. You know, I, I never really hear nobody actively talking about a gang like in their song that's the one thing that i can say about detroit for real for real it's like we'll talk about everything else but our gang affiliation you know what i mean i'm, I'm not part of a gang but you know what i'm saying we'll talk about everything else except that we'll like put little subtle hints out there but you know we don't we don't talk about that for real amongst the five people indicted are corey tony 36 also known as green eyes also known as Bright Mo of Detroit. He is charged with racketeering conspiracy and possession with intent to distribute a controlled substance. Mm. Edward Tavern, 30, also known as Chico, also known as. That has nothing to do with me, guys. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> nothing to do with me. Cheeks of Detroit. He is charged with racketeering conspiracy and felony in possession of a firearm. Oh. Andre, big man Chatham, 27, of Detroit. He is charged with racketeering conspiracy, mm. murder in aid of racketeering, and use and carry of a firearm during and in relation to a crime of violence causing death. Kevin Pearson, 25, also known as BMG Kev of Detroit is charged with racketeering conspiracy in murder, 
aid of racketeering and use and carry of a firearm oh. during and in relation to a crime of violence causing death. Santez Skittles Wells, 23, of Detroit, is charged with murder and aid of racketeering and use and carry of a firearm during and in relation to a crime. They really is what they rap about. I have never heard their music, but I ain't even got to hear it. The, the proof is in the pudding. It's in the banana damn pudding right here. They done peeled a few people. No pun intended. But they really own that. They really own that. For real, for real. Who's more dangerous, Detroit or Chicago? Mm -hmm. Violence causing death. Chatham is being sought by investigators. Pearson, Tony, and Wells are in custody along with Tavern. Tavern made a brief appearance in federal court Friday while sitting in a wheelchair. In a recent YouTube video, Tavern is in a hospital bed next to bloody clothing and claims he was shot three times. Wait, is that rock? Yeah, that's rock. I think so, yeah, that's rock, man. Rest in peace to rock, most definitely. I'm not taking no side, but you know what I'm saying? Death is never fair, for real, for real. Especially if it's somebody, you know what I'm saying, you grew up listening to, for real, for real. Chances make champions, man. Gang alternatively called Young and Scantless allegedly waged a 10-year organized campaign of homicide, drug dealing, assaults, ruthless violence, arson, robbery, and shootings, prosecutors allege. Okay, now listen, even though they are doing, like, bad stuff, whatever, you know what, you know what, look, look, I'm not here to defend nobody, I'm gonna just put it to you like this. We grew up different from everybody, okay, so I'm not here to point the fingers at nobody, but listen, look. Look how all of them is coming together to get money. You see how nobody is hating on nobody. Everybody is shining. You know what I'm saying? Everybody putting it on. Nobody is hating on nobody. This is how a group should be. This is how organized group should be. Okay, it should be structured, you know? Look like they got structure to me. In September 2010, a gang member sprayed carburetor cleaner on merchandise at a Marathon gas station in the 21,000 block of Finkel and started a fire, according to authorities. Three years later, in August of 2013, Pearson, Chatham, and Wells killed a person identified in court records as TW during a robbery at a gas station on Seven Mile and Shiawassee, prosecutors allege. Gang members bragged online about their violent activities, posting videos featuring handguns and AK-47 style rifles. Their status as young and scandalous members allows them to engage in illegal money-making activities while protecting them from interference and attack from others and deters witnesses from cooperating with law enforcement against them, prosecutors allege. Mm. Members dealt a range of drugs, including marijuana and cocaine, according to the indictment. On July 4th, 2015, gang members robbed and killed a person, identified in the indictment as E.B., at the Victory Inn Motel on Telegraph in the Brightmore neighborhood, prosecutors said. Mm. Days later, Pearson, Tavern, and another gang member allegedly talked about the homicide, the gang, and retaliating against gang members who were cooperating with police, according to the indictment. I'm going to put it to you like this. I'm going to definitely put it to you like this. I'm not in no gang culture, but I do know there's some sort of oath of silence once you win, you know what I'm saying, once you decide to join the gang. You need to know what comes with it. You can't tell. That's just the bottom line. Even I know that. Even I know if you sign up to be a gang, what is you telling for? Yo singing ass. You're going to get in court and you're going to start singing like Mariah. That, first of all, you should have never joined. If you can't do the crime, I mean, wait, no. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. It's just that simple. Why the hell is people going, people going to court turning to E.T. and stuff just pointing people at? You're not supposed to do that, okay? You're supposed to shut up and you're supposed to take whatever comes with it, okay? If that's the route that you choose, you need to stick with that route. You need to be prepared to sleep with a man for the rest of your life in jail. That's you, you know what I mean? The conversation happened during a recorded phone call from jail. 
In March 2016, Chatham and other gang members participated in multiple shootings in the neighborhood that culminated in a homicide mm. in the 16,000 block of Riverview. The victim is identified as AM in the uh, indictment. As a result of the gang's violent domination of the neighborhood, the residents of Brightmoor live in fear of shootings, they, yeah, robberies, yeah. arson, and other violence, the government alleged. Members of the community have been forced to endure such violence as well as the regular use of neighborhood business and residences as drug markets. Oh, man. At least two of the indicted appear to be members of the YNS DeMob rap crew affiliated with Chief Keith. What? Two more members of a Northwest Detroit street gang have been charged in federal court with racketeering, kidnapping, and trafficking crack cocaine, officials stated. George Eubanks, 30, and James Bowens, 37, both of Detroit, were indicted by the U.S. Department of Justice officials. All right, listen, I'm, I'm going to put it to you like this, because I know some people in here was like doing music and everything like that with the gang. <clears throat> Honestly, look, I'm not trying to look down on the way how you live, all right, because you got to get it how you live. But at the end of the day, you need to balance one. You need to choose one. Both cannot go in, you know, both do not mix together. I know at the end of the day, people be like, okay, you got to live what you rap about or whatever. But look, you can't balance the streets and you cannot balance the music. Stuff is going to conflict, right? For real, for real, honestly. Because you got to think about it. If you go be in the streets, you got to be in the streets heavy. You can't just part-time the streets. Because people out there, they not playing with you. They not go part-time the streets either. They not go say, no, nah, he at the gas station. He chilling. Let me, let me just, you know what I'm saying, ease up off of him. No, they go blow your head off forever. It don't matter where you at. It don't matter if you at Ponderosa. It is, the people don't even go to damn Ponderosa no more. They ain't even open no more, hell. They don't care if you at the county. They don't care if you on the river walk, just trying to enjoy your day with your shorty, with your kids. None of that matters. There's no time out in the streets. That's what you got to realize, too. So, you got to pick one, honestly. You, you cannot do both, for real, for real. If you try to do both, and you actively try to do both, you know, you know the outcome of that. Bro. In a statement. The announcement comes about eight months after federal officials indicted five members of the Young and Scantless gang, including its alleged leader, Edward Tavern. Mm. They were also charged with several other crimes, such as murder, robbery, home invasion, arson, and narcotics distribution. Mm. In the latest indictment, federal prosecutors accused Eubanks and Bowens of selling drugs in West Virginia and Tavern's behalf while he was incarcerated in August of 2017. As part of the enterprise, Bowens kidnapped and fired a gun at a person to force the victim to rent a vehicle for the gang to use to transport drugs to West Virginia, prosecutors said. Eubanks and Bowens was also charged with possessing 500 and 50 grams of cocaine with the intent. Woo! Them boys was getting active out there. And it's crazy. Look, growing up in Detroit, well, growing up anywhere, you never really notice what's going on. It's only outside people really notice what's going on. I don't know if I'm the only one, but it's like, I don't know. To all my people in Detroit, you ever been chilling? And then you ever just heard, damn, you know, such and such just got killed, right? And you be like, what? You know what I mean? Crazy. Crazy. Crazy stuff. You never notice what's going on once you want the inside. It just, it seemed like everybody on the outside get the news, though. Like, the stuff we hear about Chicago, you know what I mean? That happens on the daily, but the people there, they be like, dang, I didn't even notice somebody get killed. You know what I'm saying? Who distributed it. Please hit like and subscribe for updates and mm. post notifications. All right, man. There you have a Detroit gang robbery part three. YNS. You know what I'm saying? I never heard of YNS. Crazy. Like all my time of living here, I never heard of YNS. Definitely shout out to Detroit Info Station. You know what I mean? But look, like I said, I'm not here to judge. I am not here to judge at all. The way how you live is the way how you live. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's the way how you live. Everybody did not grow up the same. Everybody did not get the same opportunity as me, as you, whatever, right? The term silver spoon, that's real. That's a real thing. You know, some people are forced to grow up fast. That's why I'm not even judging them. They was probably forced to grow up fast. You know what I mean? This is all they seen growing up. Now, don't get me wrong. I definitely say it's 
sometimes you have a choice sometimes you do not have a choice like for example like i said me i grew up around a lot of rolling 60s but at the end of the day i'm like you know what that's not the route for me i definitely like being an entertainer i definitely you know what i'm saying i I like being on social media, just things like that. I want to make a career out of that. But other people, they don't they don't have opportunity. They don't have parents. That's another thing, too, which y'all fail to realize. Everybody be thinking, like, people got a mommy and daddy at home. No, it's orphans out here that don't got nothing. This squeaky chair. Look, man, everybody did not grow up the same, okay? So that's why I'm not on here to judge. I'm not on here to say they stupid. Why would you do that? No, you know, they have no other choice sometimes, all right? Everybody, bro, everybody does not want to take the traditional route. You know what I mean? Everybody does not want to get a job. Everybody does not have the patience for that. Okay? And that's understandable. Some people feel like that money is too slow. All right? Depending on what you get paid, if you get paid like 10 bucks an hour, some people can handle that. Some people can say, you know what? Something is better than nothing. Other people say, you know what? I need it. I need more. It's all about your view on life, man. Some people be feeling like life is short. I might as well make the best out of it. You know, some people go by the term live fast, die young. All right. A lot of people go by the term like, listen, you know, I want a long, happy, healthy life. You know, so it's all about how you view life, man. This is your world. You live the way how you live it. But always remember, it's consequences for your actions. You know what I mean? Ah, bitter. Goodbye, big bye.